What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. This morning, we are going to talk about Hassan Reddick's agency. CAA dropped him like a hot potato last night. The Hassan Reddick situation continues. The saga rolls on. And the latest on that front is just that. Hassan Reddick does not have an agent right now because CAA dropped his ass. Uh, and we talked about Aaron Rodgers' comments a couple weeks ago about he he implied that there are no longer the, you know, Hassan Reddick is no longer represented by CAA. Uh, when I talked about it, there was, everyone was like, oh, no, he's being tongue in cheek. He's being tongue in cheek. Well, what, is he? Is he? He might have broken some news because then just a couple weeks later, look at this. CAA and Hassan Reddick are no longer in cahoots. And not really a huge surprise on my part because I don't think there's any agent who would ask Hassan Reddick to continue his holdout this far. Now, for me, I know others are going to feel di differently, but this doesn't completely exonerate Joe Douglas of any blame here. And I'm not saying like you have to fold to every one of his demands and, you know, pay Hassan Reddick a, a hundred million dollar contract and, you know, all that. But at the end of the day, the pivot plan for Joe Douglas was to improve the edge rusher room was to trade for Hassan Reddick. He gave up a third round pick. Uh, in 2026, and I thought, you know, the draft capital going the other way made sense if the Jets' plan was to bring him in and give him a new deal because it was very well documented that Hassan Reddick was looking for a new contract, and Joe Douglas still traded for him. Now, I think he believed they could have either got him to play or get some sort of agreement in place, but, you know, even with all that said, this doesn't make Hassan Reddick's decision any less silly. Like, at this point... He has dug his heels in way too far, and no agent is going to be like, yeah, this is a good decision. You're actually making the right choice here by holding out six weeks into the NFL season. If you're wondering what the tally is up to, Hassan Reddick has lost $12.2 million so far this year. He was scheduled to make 14.25. So what's the final play here from Reddick? Are the Jets going to be able to one trade him now with they have absolutely zero leverage because everyone in the world knows he's not going to report unless he gets a new contract because he's willing to fork over $12 million in fines when he's only making $14.25 million in fines. But also, if he holds out through the entirety of the season, he doesn't accrue the season. So that means we're right back to where we started next year, that he would still be on the same exact contract a year later. He's just a year older and hasn't played in the league in a year. So what's the final play? I mean, I, I have no idea if and when Hassan Reddick is going to show up this at this point. Like, that's been my stand since, what, like June, July? We've talked about this for a really long time during OTAs. I was like, yeah, it's whatever. OTAs and minicamp wasn't crazy stressed out about it. My thought was if when, when he starts missing training camp practice is when we get to be really concerned. And it and training camp came and went. The preseason came and went. The Jets' first game came and went. And now they are five games, soon to be six games, into their 2024 season. And there is still no sign of Hassan Reddick. I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Lucy. The best nicotine pouches on the market. Guys, unfortunately, had a really bad habit of chewing tobacco. It was gross, disgusting, and products like Lucy helped me stop. I have right here the Espresso Pack. That's the one that I've been using this week. Uh, my two favorite flavors, aside from that, are the wintergreen and the mint. When I feel a midday slump coming on is usually when I like to toss one in. Usually some people reach for the cup of coffee or maybe it's a Diet Coke or, you know, whatever. Um, but you could use this in order to do the same thing. So let's level up your nicotine routine with Lucy. Here's what you do. You go to lucy.co slash O'Leary and use promo code O'Leary to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and has a 30-day refund policy if you change your mind. Here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and a every single order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine and nicotine is an addictive chemical. I wonder if we get Hassan Reddick with his tail tucked between his legs at the final minute, like the last day he has before, you know, it the season doesn't accrue, right? Like if he holds out past a certain point, then it's like, well, you're, you're going to be on the same contract next year. I wonder if he just goes right up to the buzzer. But that almost doesn't make sense for him at this point 
because of the money that he'd be playing for free. Essentially, it'd be a wash with the amount of, with the amount of fines that he's racked up over this time. So uh, again, I don't know where Hassan Reddick got this advice from. Clearly, it's him because it's not. I don't think any agent is drop. The agency dropped him, so it shows that they do not agree with his stance. I don't know if it's Reddick himself. I don't know if it's some sort of business partner. Supposedly, Reddick is in some hot water in one of his businesses, so it's just an absolute mess right now. Thankfully, Will McDonald has been good in a pass rushing role this year. He's tied for second in the NFL in sacks with six. He's had, again, a really, really good start to his second season, and he has a good chance to be a double-digit sack guy this year. But it doesn't stop the Jets from having issues on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage, um, on on the defensive line, rather, because... They lost Jermaine Johnson for the season in week two to an Achilles. That's really frustrating. Uh, I feel awful that, you know, uh, Jermaine Johnson had to go through that. But now you have a rotation of, you know, Michael Clemens and Tack McKinley and these other guys who just frankly are not at the same level as a player like Reddick. So it does impact their pass rush. It has been a problem at times this year. Uh, It really in week two and three, they were able to get a very good pass rush and it worked. And I love that in week three, they blitzed a little bit more. But I thought specifically the last two weeks didn't really get a ton of pass rush. I know they had some sacks against Sam Darnold, but those were more coverage sacks. You're going to need to get home against the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen. You can't give Josh Allen all day to throw. And if you blitz him, then you run the risk of him you know, escaping and making a play down the field or making a play with his legs. So um, I don't see an end in sight here, but just wanted to come on and give my take on Hassan Reddick's agency saying, you know what? We're good. We're going to clear our hands of this situation. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll catch you next time. 